Hey everybody, I have a unicorn truck behind me. Yes, this is General Motors Jeff from Pro Chevrolet in Sault Ste. Marie. And I have right here a 2021 Chevrolet Silverado Custom Trail Boss, but it's the Realtree Edition. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the price of this one. We're gonna talk about what you get when you get the Realtree Edition and some of the options you have with the Realtree Edition, things you can select and deselect. That's what we're gonna talk about today, so let's go. So here it is, the 2021 Custom Trail Boss Real Tree. Now let's talk about a couple things. Again, I mentioned we're gonna talk about price um, and we're gonna talk about what this package has, but let's get out of the way first. What is a Silverado Custom Trail Boss? For those of you that don't know, and if you do know, sorry, you can skip ahead a little bit, but for those of you that don't know, let's just talk about that. We have two different versions of Trail Boss when it comes to the Chevy Silverados. We have this one, which is the Custom, okay? And then we have the 2LT. Now the 2LT has more features, okay? So it's a little bit more trimmed out, especially on the inside, and there's a different engine choice as well. Uh, not engine choice, but different standard engine, I should say, as a matter of fact. Um, so the one we're looking at again is the Custom. So a bit of a better price point, and I think that that really suits the real tree edition. I'm glad that they chose the Custom Trail Boss as opposed to the 2LT Trail Boss for this trim. So. Custom Trail Boss. What do you get when you get the Trail Boss Custom Trail Boss? Well, first and foremost, you're getting this blacked out grill, all right? So the grill in the front is black and you're gonna have Chevrolet across. The 2LT Trail Boss, by the way, will have the bow tie in the front. So a totally different grill, different headlights in this one. These ones are not LED, they're halogen, all right? You're also not getting fog lights, you are like you're on a 2LT, but again, those are things that can be added. So you can add fog lights to this one. As part of the custom trail boss, you are getting the red tow hooks. That kind of signifies a trail boss in general. You're gonna get that in both. Um, and again, the black bumper. So black grill, black bumper, black mirror caps, and black door handles. Now the difference on the custom trail boss is these are like a granular, all right? Um, whereas when you get into a 2LT, the mirror caps and the door handles both are like a, the gloss black, like a piano black, all right? Um, heading out back, uh, because part of the Trail Boss Edition, part, pardon me, is the off-road package. Um, you're going to get the, Z, or the Z71 package or Z71 package, sorry for my American friends, as you can see right there. So what that means is it's going to have underbody skid plates. You're going to have the Rancho name brand shocks underneath there. You can see the red for the Rancho there. You're going to have the dual exhaust, okay, back here, coming out the back. Um, you're going to have the higher intensity air cleaner. Uh, you're also going to have heel descent control, and you're going to have the high low four-wheel drive range so if unless you get a 6.2 liter if you get a 5.3 which is what this one is and we'll talk about that if you don't have the z71 package on another, any other truck aside from this one um you're not gonna get the low range but the z71 is a standard package when it comes to the uh, trail boss and rightfully so because this is an off-road variant and speaking of all the off-road stuff aside from everything i just mentioned obviously the biggest thing on the trail boss is you're getting the two inch factory suspension lip man really can you quiet it down <laughs> anyways two inch suspension lift on this one. So uh, I really, really, um, really appreciate that a little bit of extra ground clearance, all right? Um, now, again, on the inside of this one, it's more so basic. And what I mean by that is you cannot get a bucket seat, all right? It is just the center, uh, regular center console, which flips up for your six passenger. Um, cloth seats are the only option. Uh, it is not a power seat option on the driver's side. Now, the only thing is if you're shorter in stature, you might want to go to your dealer and actually sit in the vehicle first to see because you don't, you do not have height adjustment on that. So I know some people don't care. Well, who cares if it has power seats? Well, you're going to care if you're shorter in stature and that seat is not high enough for you. You might have to go up to a trail boss, two LT or a two LT or an LT of some kind that has the power seat to raise it up. Um, Anyway, we'll talk about more about the, uh, the inside when we get there, all right? But let's talk about what is it you get 
when you get the real tree. Or wait, no, let's talk about the price of this one first, and then we'll get talking about what you get when you get the real tree package. Hey, listen, just want to interrupt you for a second. Do you like this video? If so, please give me a like, and don't be shy to subscribe because I'm going to be bringing you more walk around videos just like this one. Not to mention, I'm also, if you haven't checked out already, bringing you all the news when it comes out to all the new trucks and vehicles and anything GM related that's coming out. All right, so I'm sure this is incredibly hard to see. Oh, there it is, it cleared up. 57,873 is the price of this crew cab, by the way. This is not a double cab, it's a crew cab. Um, and it is in Canadian dollars. Now, uh, we have basically the, the standard uh, package on this one in terms of what you get with the real true package, which I said we're gonna talk about momentarily. Um, the only thing that we have added uh, is the sport bars that will be back here. And I can show a picture of that here, but we'll have the sport bars coming out off the back. So that's the only real difference um, that we've added above and beyond. Well, we had some mud flaps and things like that, but that's the only real expense we've added above and beyond what this real tree package normally comes with. All right, so what engine options do you have when it comes to the real tree? Let's talk about that first before we talk about the aesthetics of the real tree package. And first of all, the one we have underneath the hood here is the 5.3 liter active fuel management motor. So if you didn't already know so, one of the main differences between the Custom Trail Boss and the 2LT Trail Boss is the standard 5.3 motor. In the 2LT Trail Boss, you're getting the newer version of the dynamic uh, the dynamic fuel management um, uh, 5.3, whereas with this one, it's the active fuel management. The difference there is this one drops from eight cylinders to four. The dynamic fuel management can run on any number of cylinders. So of course that, that engine is newer, a little more expensive. The other thing is the transmission as well. When you get the 5.3 liter in the custom trail boss, it is a six speed transmission, which I'm sure some of you really like. And then when you get to the 2LT, it's a 10 speed transmission. So there's a difference in the transmission and the motor itself. Not to mention this one does not have the stop start technology, not that it would anyway, um, <laughs> but uh, the 2LT Trail Boss would provide it. It's available at the time you order it. But anyways, different story for a different day. The other option though, however, is you can get the 6.2 liter in this. Unfortunately, when we ordered this one, the 6.2 liters were just non-existent. We couldn't get it. So we have the 5.3, which is still a more than capable engine, but you do have the option for the 6.2. So that's one of the options that you can change when it comes to the uh, Custom Trail Boss uh, and the Realtree Edition. Now, as part of the Realtree package itself, that's what we're gonna go over now. What do you get? Well, it of course is mainly aesthetics, but I think they are really cool. So first and foremost, obviously you're going to get the Realtree graphics, you're getting the Realtree graphics, uh, Realtree, pardon me, graphics, uh, even has a logo going on there. Um, out here, out front, all right? You're gonna get the Realtree graphics, as you've already seen, of course, here out back. You're gonna get the Realtree graphics um, right here on the tailgate. Now, if I could stop here for one second, one other option you can get as a choice when it comes to the Realtree edition is you can still get the Multiflex tailgate. Now, the only difference with the Multiflex tailgate, if any of you are not already aware, it does not say Chevrolet across the back, it just has a Chevy bow tie. Well, guess what? It's just a black bow tie. So you are gonna lose the ability to have this cool camouflage look in the back if you are so choosing to have the Multiflex. We chose not to do it. I love that Multiflex tailgate, but I think from a looks perspective and the person who's buying this truck, I don't think they cared about that as much. So we just went with this one. Could be wrong. Um, heading back here too, part of the Realtree Edition is actually these black exhaust tips. So I talked about the dual exhaust back here with the Z71, but that's normally like a polished, polished uh, aluminum, polished chrome, whatever exhaust. You're gonna get the black exhaust tips back here uh, with this one. Staying with the black, you're also getting the black badging, which you probably saw back there and up here with the Z71. Um, and and, and uh, so you're getting some black accents in, as far as the badging is concerned. That is part of that package. Now, there is one thing missing on this truck um, because it's just rolled off the transport. So it hasn't been what they call PDI to run through our shop, but you're gonna have the four inch round uh, running boards. I'll try and throw a picture up there of those as well. Um, they're gonna, it comes with the running boards. All right, so that is what comes on the outside. Oh, there again is your black logo wing back here. All right, so now there is a couple things on the inside as well. Not really a couple things, but there's one thing anyway. And this is on the front driver and passenger door too. You're gonna get that real tree touch and it's kind of a glossy finish, which looks kind of cool. Um, I like it because it's not too gaudy. It's not too much. It's not all over the dash and, and all that kind of stuff. You just have a little bit of a touch right here on the door. And then one last thing that I think is kind of cool that a lot of people have missed is actually back here in the spray and box liner. So first of all, you do get the spray and box liner as part of this kit, but you also get where it says Realtree. And normally if you've looked at any Chevrolet Silverados on the lot, that is actual a Chevy bow tie typically when you get the, um, the factory spray and liner, but they've added the Realtree touch. So I think it's kind of just a, a cool touch to that. All right, so now the other option 
is, now first and foremost, it doesn't matter if you get any kind of custom trail boss, you're gonna get these black aluminum wheels with the more aggressive Goodyear Wrangler Dirt Track tires. So that is not an op, that is not a feature of this, of this uh, real tree, but um, you still have a choice that you have in a normal trail boss as well. So these right now, just as a heads up, are an 18 inch aluminum wheel. Okay, obviously, as you can see, 18 inch aluminum, but it's, uh, it's a black gloss. And again, the dirt track tires. Now, if you want, you do have the choice of getting a larger wheel. So you can get the 20 inch black aluminum wheel and they're gonna use a different tire, still aggressive, but it's a Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT tire. That is gonna be the difference with uh, that tire option that you can get. All right, are you still with me? Because next what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop inside and talk about some of the features you're getting with the Custom Trail Boss on the inside. As mentioned, this is a crew cab. So here we are, it has a large back interior. And as I mentioned earlier, cloth interior is the only option. These seats will flip up uh, very easily and it's the 60-40 split in the back. But the main stuff obviously happens up front, so let's go there. All right, so here we are inside. As I already showed you, there's the inside of the door. Now, one of the things that differentiates this uh, that I haven't mentioned a minor detail, when you get into the custom trail boss or 2LT trail boss, trail boss in general, you're gonna get the black bow tie on the steering wheel, which I, obviously I think lends itself to matching everything else on the truck. So I think that looks great. Um, the other thing though now, when you get into the custom trail boss, you are getting the plastic urethane, whatever they wanna call the steering wheel. So in a 2LT, it's a leather wrap steering wheel. In this particular one, it's plastic. Now we didn't order this option, uh, but there is an option where you can have your audio controls in there. It is not on this particular one. I, I, honestly, as a matter of fact, I don't even know if it was an option when we ordered it, but regardless, um, you can have that in this trim mode, but, but oftentimes you see a custom trail boss that will be missing um your your uh, cruise control of course is right over here auto track four wheel drive as i mentioned when i was outside is right here and there's your four high four low auto you do have the trailering one uh mode on this one of course um and we did order all, you know as we always do here at pro chevrolet we ordered the, all the trailering package um and you can see that right down there um uh, uh, with the trailer brake controller pardon me all right so what else do we want to talk about in this one? Well, of course, you're going to sell power windows, power locks, all that kind of stuff. One of the main things, though, when you get to the custom trail bus is the seven inch screen here. So, yes, it is a smaller touch screen uh, than you're going to get in the 2LT, which is the eight inch color touch screen. Um, but again, maybe some of you don't care as much about that. You're not as much into the tech. But even that, even though it's a smaller screen, it still has tech in it in terms of Apple CarPlay. It's got Android Auto. You have the trailer, uh, the trailer system in this one. So, really cool about that is if I press that button, it'll actually go through the whole light cycle of the trailer. So, I can stand behind the trailer and watch to do its thing the signals the brake lights so i don't have to get in and out and make sure all my lights work so little little thing but i think it's a pretty cool thing the other thing i like about it too is you can actually turn the camera on um so when you're driving it'll go on for eight seconds so you can see behind you see what your trailer's doing make sure you didn't leave the tailgate down if you got a tunnel cover on and you can't see back there if the tailgate's down that kind of stuff but Again, anyway, so eight inch, eight inch color touchscreen there. Um, pretty basic in terms of all the, the uh, vent controls here. It doesn't have separate climate control. You will get that when you get into a 2LT. Again, might not matter for most of you. There's that hill descent control that I had mentioned. That's your, your uh, power tailgate button, by the way. It does have a power tailgate, power down, not power up. USB, USB-C. Um, but again, fairly basic in terms of all this kind of stuff. I'm gonna step up for a second just so I can show you one other thing here, which of course is the fact that it's not the bucket seat, as mentioned, it does have a center console, uh, or not a center console, but uh, the center, you know, armrest, I guess you would say, and it does flip up into that six passenger. Um, you just have to pull on this lever in order to get down because it's it's a shoulder belt now, so it needs to lock into place. But unlike the older custom trail bosses when you first got them, this did not open, thank God, this does now. So you do have that storage uh, inside of that uh, now that you didn't have in the past. All right, well, there you have it. That is my look at the custom trail boss. Realtree edition. Of course, if you have any questions, as always, let me know. Stay tuned for the next video and thanks so much for watching. Take care, everybody.